Egg tempera is the oldest painting technique. It has been used from the time of the Stone Age in the cave paintings through the greatest civilizations such as Egypt, Greece and Rome, right up until the High Renaissance. In Northern Europe during the Renaissance, it was replaced with oil painting. It is important to have a solid support. A flexible support like canvas will cause the paint to crack. First, apply sizing. Mix two cups of water with an eighth of a cup of rabbit skin glue granules and let it stand overnight. If you can't get rabbit skin glue, you can use plain gelatin granules. Cover it and refrigerate it if you cannot use it the next day. Once it is set, place it in the top of a double boiler and heat it until it is lukewarm and all the mixture is liquefied. Apply it to all surfaces, including the back and sides. Let it set overnight. The following day, apply the ground. The ground is made up of the same glue mixture as the size, into which three cups of calcium carbonate and three heaped tablespoons of titanium dioxide are added. I use a sieve to exclude lumps and other debris. Add small amounts at a time into the warm glue mixture, stirring gently so as to not create bubbles. The mixture should have a smooth, heavy, cream-like consistency. Like the sizing, the ground should be applied to all surfaces, the front, back and sides. The first coat should be rubbed in. The following three coats should be applied with a brush. Each succeeding coat should be applied at right angles to the preceding coat. The coats should be applied in one sitting and be touched dry before the next coat is applied. There should be four coats all in all. Let it dry overnight. The following day it should be sanded smooth with a 340 to 400 grit sanding paper. The surface is now ready for the underdrawing. Chalk, pastel, conte, crayon or charcoal are ideal. Don't use graphite, it shows through. The next thing to do is to lay out the values in the composition. You can use casein paint or ink of various values. The paint or ink can be diluted with water to create a value scale. Finally, it is time to mix the pigment. Take an egg yolk and dry it in a paper towel. Prick it and then squeeze out the liquid. Add a teaspoon of distilled water and mix. In a separate bowl, mix the dried pigment with distilled water until it is creamy. Then you mix the two together And voila, you have your paint. Refrigerate it if you cannot use it immediately. This painting technique is environmentally friendly and largely non-toxic depending on which pigments you, you acquire. The painting is durable and has vivid jewel-like colors. Good luck with your painting.